Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with this bit of Residence of Fate on the Sony PlayStation 3. Last time, we went down to levels, uh, I believe it was 10 and 11, or maybe just 11, and we uh, well, got ready to go into a side dungeon, and also get to the main dungeon. But uh, we're not going to do that just yet right now, we will be doing uh, at least one of those things at this episode, but for the moment, we are going to... Check to see what we get for getting uh, 400 stars there. Uh, Hunter stars or whatever. For our rank. Uh, ooh, Expander Sub Barrel and Kirkia R's. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, and the reason why I'm back here in town is because off screen I did a few things. I spent a few hours going through the uh, arena here in order to. Uh, a, get the ranks up, and B, try to get uh, some more hexes, or hexes, hexes here to place on the various spots. Um, as you can see, we've made some progress here. I think before we had like seven of the first ones, or like ten of these, or something like that. But as you can see, we got a decent amount. So I'm going to go ahead and off-screen go to... Uh, a couple of levels and place some of these down. See if we can't find any shards. If we find, I'll, I'll list what we find off screen um, when we come back. But if I find any shards, I'll uh, I'll try to cut to where they are. That way, they're easy enough to find. Uh, as you can see, we also got some colored stuff here, so that's really nice. And basically, what I did is I went to the arena and went through all the ranks. I was planning on just uh, starring all the ranks, um, like going through all. 10 fights in each rank to get to the star or whatever. And then I realized I could just look up online which ones had the human enemies, which are the ones, by the way, that drop the uh, energy axes, and I could just do those. So, yeah, I managed to get up to, like, rank 10 before I said, eh, screw it, and I just looked for the ones that uh, had the human enemies. Um, let's see here. Uh, rank 2... Here, hey, uh, and, you know, let's just go to our uh, menu real fast. Oh, by the way, um, uh, I spent my silver coins over here to get the the lucky charm, which uh, supposedly increases the drop rate. I'm not sure how much it actually worked. Oh, and I also used my uh, blue straight. You know, let's just go back outside. It'll be easier to show it that way. I used my blue straight, uh, it might be the light blue, I'm not sure, um, hexes that I had to connect the drop rate up terminal to the arena here. That's why those uh, turquoise looking ones, uh, which were these ones, I had, I think I had just seven of them and that was just enough to get from the terminal here back to the arena. Yeah, because it says increases drop rate by a factor of 1.5. I'm not sure how much it actually worked, but oh well. Anyways, um... Rank 2 of the arena was pretty good for getting uh, that first energy X right there. Uh, this one right here. Because it has uh, three human type enemies uh, that all drop that one right there. So that's nice for that. Um, I only I only did a couple of that one because by that point I had already been farming or, or going through the rest of the arena stuff. And I didn't realize that or I forgot that the uh, non-humans didn't drop it. Um, the other the other round that I went to was rank 17 of the arena, and that one has a chance to drop because that one has uh, three humans and one snow brownie, and that one drops uh, or those guys drop this one right here, the kind of L-shaped one. So that one's pretty good. Uh, now eventually, when we get to next chapter, I hope that rank 24 opens up because that has five human enemies, and they'll drop uh, these right here. So that'll be really nice right there. Actually, no. Uh, yeah, they'll drop that one, and then they'll also drop, I think, this pink one right here, too. But yeah, just find the human enemies in the arenas and go for those. Just find the ones that have the most human enemies. And for, like I said, the ones that I found at the moment were rank 17 and rank 2. Uh, you could have also gone to, like, where was it? Uh, let's see. 
See, I wanted to go for the easier ones. Um, the ones that didn't have like too much extra stuff. Yeah, rank eight, rank eighteen had had guys that would have dropped uh, these right here, but it's only two humans, and then it was two of uh, those elephant dudes. So I didn't want to bother with them. Um, rank twenty-one would have dropped again these right here with three human enemies, but they also had uh, black dogs. Which I didn't really want to fight. I just chose 17 because it just had one extra enemy to worry about. Anyways, uh, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and place these down on the ranks. And actually, no, hang on, let me see something. It'll show anything new that we have in green right now. So let's clear all that out. Yeah, see, a lot of these ones were new because I got them from the fights. Uh, I think the rest should be fine. Expander sub barrel. I'll worry about that later. I don't really care. Just want to make sure there's nothing else here that's green right now. And we'll look at all this stuff later. I think a lot of these I bought uh, off screen at the boutique in town. Granted, we did get a fair amount at the at the uh, previous hex placements, but still. Okay, so anyways, I'll be right back. If I find any hexes, I'll put them on screen when I find them. If not, well, we'll just go through the list and see what, what we get new, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, I finally found a bezel shard. Uh, this is level 11, the area that we don't have to go to. Um, yeah, this area right here, that kind of looks like a... well... You kind of see what it looks like, but it was uh, over here by this uh, little dead end right here. So, yeah, I'll be right back. Alrighty, back on level 10 here, and I found another bezel shard. Uh, this one was, uh, well, hey, there we go. We got our hero gauge up. Very nice. It was hidden in the uh, corner right here. It was uh, basically at this uh, very last square right there where the reticule is at right now. Um, as you can see, I've used a fair amount of my bezels here trying to get stuff, and I didn't really get that much great out of it, unfortunately. It just wasn't uh, as lucrative as I had hoped. I mean, I got some stuff out of it, but I got a lot of, like, dog droppings and stuff as well. So, yeah, not as good as I was hoping. But, oh well. Uh, but while we're here, let's go ahead and... Get ready to head to Etsia, but before we do that, let's do a couple other things. Um, there's a couple red uh, squares that I want to check out, so we're going to go to those. Oh, these chunky gangsters, I think they drop pretty decent uh, bezels, or shards, or whatever you want. Energy axis, there you go. They all sound the damn same-ish. Not really, but you know, close enough. And I can never tell if uh, killing the leader gets you, uh, just by himself, gets you the uh, drops of the other enemies, like, maybe you have to kill the other enemies to get their drops, sometimes it seems like you get them anyways, so, for right now I'm just going to go ahead and just kill everybody, and try to get their drops that way, so let's grab this guy, and yeah, some of the uh, arenas around here for fighting in aren't really all that, like, awesome for fighting in, they're really not that great. But you gotta deal with them, so oh well. Let's see. You should be just about dead. Perfect. And now let's see if we can't get a couple shots on that guy. He's probably a bit too far away to actually get any good damage in there. Yeah. And he just regenerated anyway, so oh well. Um I don't know why that guy has such good regen compared to this guy. But you know what? Let's go ahead and take that guy out first, just to be on the safe side. There we go. That way he doesn't like regen and get all his health back or anything stupid like that and have to deal with it later. Oh, it's so nice to have another shard there. Uh, we're at chapter 7 and we finally got... Actually, we're chapter 8 or chapter 7. Either way, we finally got 7 uh, bezels there, so finally. Took us long enough. I hate these freaking Bastardizing little... In the way thingies. Uh, covers, I guess. There we go, we got some energy just from jumping over them. 
that works. Uh, you should be dead there, sir. And, yeah, let's not, uh, die here, thanks. There you go. There we go, a little bit of a spec down for a little bit of gold chips, or silver chips. Not that we actually need the money, but you know what? Screw it, they're there. Oh, and that reminds me, I do want to take off the extra drop, uh, drop rate th thing from... Uh, Zephyr here, just because it does reduce the experience gained, and I'd rather have experience at this point. Just, I, I don't know how much it actually affects the drop rate. Like, it seems like it should do a decent job, but at the same time, I have no idea how much it actually affects anything. Um, oh, that lowers the encounter rate, so that's nice. Uh, screw it, let's just go with the barrier, barrier padding for reduced physical damage. Um, I want to get to... Etsy, yeah, we're going to come back to you in just a moment. Yeah, I didn't get every single one of these things, mainly because sometimes they're a pain in the ass to get. But there we go. Oops. Um... But I want to get to level 10 for a minute here. Because yeah, there was, like I said, a couple red hexes to take care of. Or at least check out. We'll, check, we'll try those out. If they turn out to be tough, well, we tried. I'll probably put an energy station down over there just to make sure we have some place to save at that, just in case it does get uh, too complicated. Sometimes they're real easy, like the one we did last episode. And sometimes they're like a real pain in the ass, like some of the ones we did for previous episodes. I guess I didn't actually do as much on this particular screen as I thought I did. Oh well. Um, yeah, let's just grab a couple more. I don't want to grab too many, mainly because I'm out of uh, shards here. But might as well grab a couple, right? Terminal. Oh, this is a different floor. That's why. This is the Dakota Vein. Oh, that's where we got our what should we call it? Our. Uh, That's where we got our new machine gun at, I think. I thought I did... I thought I did better on this area, but I guess not. Oh, well. Just see if we can't grab a few more things here. Yeah, sometimes sometimes you're not getting like anything at all, which kind of sucks. But eventually you get something out of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Never mind, so I got to show the uh, stuff that we got. Which really, like I said, wasn't too terribly impressive, unfortunately. Yeah, it's a lot of shoes, unfortunately. But, oh well. Uh, I think we're out of the uh, curly ones here. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let's see here. Items. Got a couple first aid X's, a couple multi aids, perfect aids. Why does that have an X on it? I don't know why that has an X on it right there, like the X button. Oh, this must mean like, oh, you can use it outside of battle or something like that. Okay. Anti-ice, got a couple of those. A couple of hand grenade pluses, plus pluses. Uh, toxic grenade, dog droppings, yeah, I got several of those. Metal coated incendiary rounds, toxic rounds, eight. Uh, oh, hollow point, there we go. I forget, what exactly does a hollow point round do? I don't remember. Yeah. oh well. Uh, yeah, we got a couple energy X's out of that. Uh, most of those are from battles, though. Um, I don't think we got anything here. Or any equipment-wise. We did get plenty of clothes, though. John Polite's uh, God Hand. Which is kind of cool, I guess. Scissor belt. Gold eye thingies. Glasses, which I don't care about at all. Gloves. Yeah, so. I think you see a lot of stuff for land, pretty much. I'm guessing that's like cat ears or something, but I'm not really caring about that.
more... Is that eye color? I can't tell if that's eye color or like a belt color. And more glasses, so yeah. None of that really matters right there. So okay, so that's all the stuff we got there. Um, where am I trying to get to here? Oh, okay, that's right. I want to get to level eight because it has some red texts out there for us to take care of. And hello, rocket foot. Oh, it's just you guys, the uh, big elephant dudes. Um, I don't really care about you guys right now, though. So we're just gonna go ahead and try to kill you. And there you go, scratch damage full. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with these guys since they don't actually drop any hexes. So, they're not really a concern at the moment. Good night. Stuff to salvage, or dismantle. Eh, salvage, dismantle, it turns out to be the same general idea anyways, so, oh well. Yeah, there's a couple uh, red squares over there that I want to try to get to. But first, let's see if we can't... I want to see if we can't set up a uh, energy station somewhere. I think it has to be on a... I think it has to be on like one of the streets that say something about... Oh, reasonably safe area, or something like that. Yeah, like right there. Um... It should be like, yeah, we should be able to put it right here. Uh, let's go with the yellow ones, as we have two of those, compared to just one of each of the other ones. Save real fast, just to make sure we're not going to die. Come okay, on. Yeah, I've learned my lesson about not saving before those things, because, well, they can be a real pain in the ass if you're not careful. Uh, I didn't realize that you were still in need of being dismantled. And I used most of my good stuff on the other stuff. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, we got something. There we go. Color lens, which I don't care about. You know what? Let's use this on... that and that. There we go. Yeah, still didn't get anything out of it. Did we go to these uh, Freud remnants? I don't think we've actually been here, have we? You know, we might as well check that out before we check out the other area. Screw it. I'm over right next to the place, so why not? Uh... Dolled up gremlin. I was about to say, this guy has like a tennis racket for some reason. I'm not sure why. But okay, let's take out the little minions here. That way we don't got to deal with you guys being all crony y and stuff. They appear to have armor on the back of their bodies, hopefully not on the head. Okay, good. So they're pretty much dead. I don't think this is going to be a really terribly tough fight, since they're just these guys. And he's not actually trying to freeze us, so that makes my life easy. There we go. If he was one of those little icy gremlins, that might be a problem simply for the fact that they'll freeze you in place. But I'm not really caring about a little bit of extra burn damage. I can live with that. The worst part about the burn is it just kind of screws with your vision just a little bit. Even that's not really all that bad, though. Probably not going to be enough to finish him off there, but eh, so close. I was hoping that the extra little bit of a uh, handgun damage would have done it, but eh, no such luck. Okay, there we go. Ow, guy, seriously. 
There you go. Ooh, we got another doll. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna see if um, I was gonna see if the guy at the shop wanted the the dolls that we collected. I'm not sure if he would, but he might. And we'll worry about that later. And another ninja dog. These are all dolled up dog type thinkies. So you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to bother uh, fighting the other guy here. Just kill this guy, I guess. Okay, good. I thought the... I thought the... Uh, wall might get in the way there. Dog, you have a lot of HP or a lot of defense or both. And it's a little irritating, actually. Oh, you have, oh, you're actually a decent level. That's why. Okay, that's fair enough. All right, let's try and break your armor a little bit. That way we can get some uh, bezels back here. Why is it saying that one of our shards is gone? Is that from when it got broken the last battle? That has to be it, actually. There's no other reason for it. Ah, I was hoping for the full scratch. No such luck. Uh, leave her alone, please. Thank you. Oh, come on. Full scratch him. And we're doing plenty of damage to the guy. Just, well, not enough. Um... Uh, hmm. That has to break something there. There you go. Oh, you guys are weak, though, so we can actually kill you and get our shards back here. Or, at the very least, kill your armor. That works, too, I guess. There you go. That's better. Uh, you're going to attack Leanne. So, you know what? Let's go back to you. Perfect. And that's going to break our health, like, real fast. Uh, get to the leader. Ah, you bastards. Uh... Yeah, let's just try re, uh, 800 uh, rubies, or try a retry here. And you know what? Screw it. Let's get the dogs out of the way, simply for the fact that they're going to be trying to irritate us if we don't. Why they have such massive uh, armor shields? I have no idea. And, geez, you recover your armor fast. That's ridiculous. Okay, he's dead. Leave him alone. Stop. Stop firing. What the fuck happened there? What the hell happened there? Like, how much damage did you fucking do? Screw it. We're gonna try to cheese this real fast. Here, go away. Uh, let's see... I'm gonna try a toxic grenade on this guy and see if it actually does anything to him. You know, besides potentially poison me. Of course it would just poison me and not the enemies, naturally. I hate this battlefield. This battlefield is... Are you fucking shitting me. Stop stealing my fucking bezels for no good fucking reason, guy.
Get to him. Kill him. Just fucking get through his shield. Here. Follow me around this way. That way I don't have to deal with this fucking moronic piece of shit in the middle of the fucking walkway. Uh, everything but the one dog that I cared about followed him over there. Oh, that's why you're doing ridiculous amounts of damage. How the heck are you doing 2,000 damage per attack there, dude? That's ridiculous. Okay, good. You're dead. Jesus. Ridiculous. Fuck off. Kill him. Attack. There you go. Jeez. Fuck it, eh, guy? Attack him through the fucking shield. I hate when they pull that crap. Uh, can I place a. No, you cannot. Okay, so I gotta go back over here. Okay, if we rest, do we get our bezel back? Because that'd be great. If not, we're gonna have to walk all the way back to town to do that crap. Okay, good. We got it back. Thank you. Alright, let's try the Freud... Uh, I think it's pronounced Freud. Right is here. Uh, okay, sure. So we got the Ruins West Site, the Abandoned Energy Station, the Ruins Site Central, the Ruins Site East, and whatever battles in here. Hopefully with... I was going to say hopefully with tolerable... Uh, uh, what is it? Battlefields, but no such luck. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just try to murder this guy and see if we get the energy access from the minions. I think we should, but at the same time, I can never be entirely sure, so... Okay, good, you're dead. That's great. That means you're not gonna be too much of a problem. Okay, you're doing way less damage than that dog out there, despite the fact that you're more or less the same level. Okay, good. Now, did we get... Okay, we got a purple energy hex, and that's it. So, for these guys, it's probably a better idea to actually attack the uh, the dudes. Okay, fair enough. Sometimes it seems like you get them, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so we got Rune Site West, Abandoned Energy Station, Central East. Uh, Alright, let's see what's in the uh, West side over here. Okay, Frag Dwellist. Oh, you guys are weak, though. I mean, you'll still give uh, energy axes, but nothing really that great, I don't think. There we go. This way you don't have a chance to recover and regroup. And I care about you, sir. I really do. And... This guy's just going to follow us around no matter what. He seems to have the hots for land, so if we just take care of this guy, he'll follow around back and get cover from the uh, box there. Fair enough, I guess. Yeah, now you shouldn't be too much of a problem. Actually, you're pretty weak, actually. Unless, of course, the terrain gets in the way, which... Okay, so far, in this particular map, from like 4, 8-ish down, the terrain seems to be much more of a problem than the, enemy, than the enemies. I mean, part of that uh, dog fight right there that we had probably would have been a lot easier if the dog started a decent amount of area away so we could actually, I don't know, attack him. There we go. Got him. And that should get us plenty of energy X's. Oh, one. I know we picked up a couple from the... Just the, the ground in general there. But, oh well. Okay, let's try out the uh, Ruins site west here. 
Okay, it's only two squares, that's fine. Gang hound, gang hound, shit thug. There's no leader, so we have to take care of all these guys, don't we? Yeah, okay. But you guys do not appear to be terribly strong either. You damage him so I can attack the dogs. The dogs are just weird. Who takes the time to outfit these damn dogs in bulletproof vests and baseball slash sailor hats or whatever the heck they're in? I'm not sure what they're wearing actually now that I'm looking at it. Okay, we got rid of your shield. That's nice. Or at least part of it, it seems like. Okay. Uh, your shield's gone. Fuck off, dog. They're too close for... Hero runs, unfortunately. So that's kind of screwing me over here. Well, it's not like they're... Too, too close, but at the same time we're not going to get uh, very good charges on them since they're going to get further and further away every second here. Okay, that should hopefully get you... That, you're probably too far away for any actual damage. I'm pretty sure that distance the bullets travel actually does affect the uh, damage that's done, you pile of shit! Motherfucking little bastardizing whorebag dogs, move! No, you're getting your fucking turn, you little shit nozzle. I'm not putting up with the bullshit where you fucking trip over the goddamn environmental factory bullshit. No. That is some bullshit, and you know it. Okay, good. You're dead. We don't have to worry about you. Goodbye, you little bastard. Now fuck off and stop attacking the guy that's actually trying to do damage here. Um, now, are there any actual... Like, is there any actual reason to be in here? Um... I'm not seeing any, any what should we call it? Any uh, treasure chests, unless they're hiding in here. Okay, gang hound, gang hound, dwellist, gang hound. There doesn't appear to be any real reason to be in here. Like, unless I'm missing something, I'm not seeing. Oh, there's a gold box right there. Okay, so let's ignore that guy. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna take out the damn dogs first, because otherwise they'll just be a Royal pain in my ass. Hey dog, come on. Attack okay, attack over here. Don't just stand there like a moron. There you go. Why are you way over there instead of, you know, over here in the action, dude? Usually they can't wait to get up all up in your ass, really. I guess today it's just... Don't bother the, uh... The player at work. Something like that. Okay, now you want to be all up on my ass. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Goodbye. Will you take some dam damage already? There you go. So gold and silver chips that I really don't care about. Uh, now it's for you. And I'm going to get your armor all the way down. Yeah, very close actually. Okay, I care less about the SmackDown, more about killing this guy. 
There you go. And your armor is still reasonably intact, unfortunately. Okay, now you're dead. Yeah, so it wasn't a too terribly tough little side part of the hospital or I don't know what this place used to be actually. I have no idea. I just know there's a uh, gold thing in here for us to get, and it doesn't seem to be too terribly great in here. Hey, a scope mount. There we go. I think we already have, well, if not one of those, then close to one of those. Okay, we're going to call it an episode here. Next time, we're going to go ahead and go through the rest of this little uh, side area. And then we're eventually going to make our way to, well, the side area on level 10. And then eventually make our way to the story mission. So, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.